Outdoor Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Yamaha, Rapala, Maple Ridge Chrysler, Lowrance, Duncan Village, Fort Boathouse, BC Outdoors Magazine, and Mayhem Fly Fishing. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Uh, we've got an exciting episode ahead for us. All right, we got Steve Sear from Yamaha. Welcome back, Steve. Thank you. Thanks for being socially distanced. Kind what of, I do. Kind of what we got to do. And then Mike yeah. Hudson from Port Boathouse. Mike, welcome to the show. Hey, thank welcome you. Welcome back to the show, I should say. Yeah, again, here we go. So, uh, season 12 this year, boys. Okay. Awesome. Not bad. So we're early, early season fishery up here, right? So let's, first of all, let's talk to Mike here. Mike, yeah. what are we doing? Where are we? Well, you know what? We're at the Barclay Sound Resort. Yep. In back end of Main Bay. So yep. Barclay Sound, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've invited a bunch of our North River uh, customers. Yeah. To this, uh, call it a derby, an event. Yep. A little bit of customer appreciation, right? Yeah. So have a derby and go and have some fun with the boys. All right. Well, Steve, you're, you've been on the, on the phone doing some intel for fishing. What can we expect right now? You know, it's tough to say. We've got a little bit. We're gonna have some weather ahead of us. Yeah. Uh, we got some wind and some swell. We have got some rain. We got some. We got our typical West Coast. It's gonna be sunny, rainy, windy, calm. So yeah. it's gonna be about finding a good spot where there's some good fish. I got some ideas. Okay. And of course, we're chasing early season chinook, right? Yeah. Early spring salmon. You know, they're gonna be. You know, hopefully teenagers in that mid to high teens. All right. So we're, we're all in agreement here. We're gonna put our best foot forward and try to win this derby. Yes, we are. Okay. All right, well, tomorrow morning is the official start of the derby. So tonight we can just kind of get the boat ready, get everything dialed in, get settled in. Maybe do a bit of a pre-fish tonight, we're allowed to. And then tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., we're leaving the dock. Sound good? That's right. Let's Sounds go. good to yeah. me. All right, guys. Rod hogging back here. No, that's not rod hogging. That's just being smart. Remember, we're all in this for the greater good of winning <laughs> the Derby. That was 56 feet. Yeah. That's on the old, our old standby for this area. The kitchen sink, wow, standby for everywhere. How's it feel? Feels decent. Yeah. Get her die again? Yeah. See what he looks like here, Mike. Is he a candidate for the net? Oh. He wasn't that big. Oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. There we go, Steve. Does that one feel small again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We need these starter fish, right? We yeah. Need a, we need a warm. We need these warm-up fish. Ice breakers. I think he just sized up a little bit. Ah, still. Nice. Look at him bouncing around back there. Huh. There we go. Nicely done. It's exciting. And we got that one a little deeper, right? Yeah, that one's down 100 feet. It's you know, guys, notice how quiet the radio is right now. Not a lot of chatter. I'm worried. Okay. That thing. It's a little, Just little, a little, little head shake there. That little much. time in between bites here. Hey guys, how's it feel, Mike? Small. Smaller guy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's okay though. Hey, maybe there'd be a bit. A lot of, we just saw a lot of feed through there, so. Yeah, yeah. there was a ton maybe of feed. We can come back and forth. You never know. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't pick up fish earlier. There was a huge bait ball back there off that little point. Little guy. All right, well, single barbless hook, that'll come out easy on him. Not quite big enough.
Check your leaders. We'll be right back. Ridge Chrysler. We're closer than you think. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. There we go. That's better. Better size there? Yeah. Well, there's a little resistance. That's good. Not a lot of resistance left, though. I think he just shrunk a bit. Just had a tap on this one too here. All right, well, another one in the boat. Another one to the boat. Still not equaling anything yet. Oh, he was bigger though. He was, yeah, a little yeah. bit bigger. That's a better fish. Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's what we've been waiting for all day. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, Mike. Oh yeah. Grab this guy. Grab him. Wish He's ready. ready. Here we go. We got a fish on, boys. Oh, that's a better fish. Yeah. Well, maybe not the greatest, but it's definitely better than what we'd seen. Oh, that's all right. Take a few step back, so I'll grab him. Oh, wow. Well, look at it, it's puking out there. Look at that, that little thing there. Oh yeah, that's what they're eating. All right, it's like some needlefish out there. There we go. Well, small fish around right now, early season, right? So both hatchery clip fish. So these are uh, good eating fish too. Well, you know, most fish are good eating fish, but these are really good eating fish. Yeah, we went through a few shakers to get there, but the size is getting bigger as we move on. We're on the board. We're on the board. Mark these on our licenses and keep going. Sounds great, Mike. All right. Now look, look, at the, look at the little herring in her coming yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's better. I guess I'll even have a net. Ooh, that's the gooder. there we go. Do you want this gear up? Yeah, probably.
That's how. Wow. <laughs> There's not much net here. It's okay. I'm there. Okay, lift up. Oh yeah, good fish. That's better. That's good fish. Oh yeah. Another, that's a wild one. That's got some size to it. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job. Hey. Noise. Kind of looks like we know what we're doing here a little bit now. Fire figured out a bit. I think so. Yeah. Well, there's a welcome aboard stick here. I think Mr. Hudson has. Uh, the big fish dialed in now. That might be a contender so far, hey? It's a good looking fish. Yeah, what is that? Seven pounds? Oh no, that's 10.6. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. It's 10.6. Early season fishing though, that's the way it is. That's a nice fish. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll get that guy in the box and let's get back down here. Sounds good. I think we finally found the, found the bite here again. Check your leaders. We'll be right back. It's called the Thai Mother. Holy man, look at that. The brass inlays represent the eggs inside her and the eggs she lays. <laughs> in the first year of our program in 2008, one person released their Thai salmon. This year, 93 to 97. Set it on itself. It's a little bit better. Yeah? Looks yeah, like he's got some size. It's not, they're not. You're going through some muck here, Eddie. Watch this side, maybe. He's kind of doing his thing here. Yeah, we made, uh, we made her, I think. Comes a flash or pop. He's not going to be a contender here, so let's just see. And he's got, he's got, he's got a fin still. Oh, what is that? Okay. And now, here's a look at today's tackle and gear. Hello folks, we're going to talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, the rods and reel of choice were the uh, Lure Jensen Legacy Series. Uh, this is the mooching rod here. It's a 10 foot 6 medium, medium action rod. Again, great. We, we, we fought through some small fish so far today, so we've had to detect those subtle bites yeah. in order to clear the lines and get ready, right? We can definitely see every little bump and nudge on there. They're yeah. real nice action. Yeah, and the reels today again, uh, again, Legacy Series. Lure Jensen's second year using them. They're great. No issues with them and they're Fantastic pickup, and they sure zing when they go too. I haven't oh, had yeah. a chance yet, but I'll tell you, when you get a screamer on, it's they sound awesome. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> thirty pounds suffix mainline, um, and again, I just put a little bit of orange backing on background backing just to get it off the spool there. Just something I do all the time, right? Yeah. Down to a small uh, bead, and then down to a, a barrel swivel, and it's a ball bearing swivel. Actually, we got away from using the bead chain swivel and the coastal locks. Because this doesn't get tangled up when we go through jellyfish or right. any uh, kelp or anything, right? So, seems to spin a little bit better, right? Yeah. Choices of gear. Now, this is where it got interesting because we have run lots of tackle this, this weekend today. We tried everything. We've gone great. Flashers. We've kind of stuck with three main ones. They're probably the two outsides being the the most common because it was it's been dark, right? Yeah. It's been ugly, so we wanted some 
some of that UV stuff flashing right in some glow. So again, the double black glow has been a great one. Uh, the green UV, and then you know we did use the the white with the moon jelly tape a couple times too. We did get a couple of fish on that sure too, right? So, yeah. but again, those are kind of standards for what I use throughout throughout the season, and they seem to work well again, right? Probably our favorite spoon. Like I'll say our because we've yeah. done well on the on the kitchen sink, and we've we've actually won a derby on these spoons up in uh, Nootka a few years Certainly. back, right? So why not use them and again? The baits the bait here is really small. It's tiny. Yeah, beautiful. it's tiny, but for some reason this size spoon was working for us. Like it we was. we put down some other size spoons in different colors and wasn't it wasn't as as successful as this one, right? So no, that was the winner yeah. for sure. Switch over again too, and we use some bait again. We use a dyed anchovies with the different teaser heads. Yep. We use the green with the with the uh, splatter back on there, right? And the splatter back hoochie is kind of a Barkley Sound classic, so the yeah. teaser heads seem like a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah, and then of course the BCO glow. We caught some fish on that too, and that's just a, a treble hook with a with a uh, three out or four out stinger on the back, um, tied up, which is which is good. I like the Dacron uh, link in the middle there. Yeah, so you didn't get little... any fish biting through it. We no. weren't losing back hooks. It worked yeah, well. Well, we use that. We use that a lot. I switched over to that last couple of years just in order to, especially if you get them hung up in the netting. Right. Right. They're busting off in the net, and you're having to retie all the time. So that seems to be a bit stronger. That's 80 pound Suffolk. Suffolk's braid, mm -hmm. so it's gonna hold, right? It's Tied not gonna, nice. yeah, yeah, it's not gonna do that, and that could shorten and lengthen that depending on how I want it to go. Mm -hmm. So, and everything went down with uh, Pro Cure on it. I mean, we talked about the anchovies. We juiced up the back of the spoons, and that seemed to kind of does our thing, right? And today's we we're using just the anchovy, anchovy super gel is what one of you normally use all the time, right? So that's that's a staple for the boat, and then of course Scotty Downriggers, Lowrance products, and then you know, of course, last but not least is the brand new Yamaha motor on here the new 300 and we got some stock we're going to talk about that and learn with the pros a bit later here with uh, some of the improvements we've done on the boat so absolutely yeah it's been good all right folks we're going to follow up with a quick list and then hopefully we'll see you out on the water Bigger and better. The Lowrance Ultimate Fishing System upgrade now offers more. A new $200 rebate on active target live sonar and bigger savings with up to $1,200 cash back. Pick fish finding tools to fit the way you fish. From high performance sonar and ultra quiet ghost trolling motor to navigation and networking tools that bring it all together. Find more, see more, catch more. Famous Duncan Lodge, located in beautiful rivers inlet, BC. We're going to give you a quick rundown of what we put on Mike's boat for power this year. Uh, we got him our brand new integrated steering 300 horse um, for a main engine. It has uh, integrated electric steering and, and a host of other features. We'll try and run through a few of them. Um, and also uh, a high thrust 25 fuel injected kicker uh, for the fishing. There's a lot of good features in the new 300 horse uh, outboard. Um, it's still the same similar 4.2 liter uh, displacement powerhead with the all new bottom end with exhaust relief that really improves re reverse performance. Uh, we've actually rigged this boat with a, with a single joystick and autopilot as well. And maybe we'll head inside and go through a few of those features. Some really great features. We had a, a really uh, a really good run today um, using the um, the autopilot with the joystick. We were able to drop in on our spot. We were able to uh, hit the heading hold, which kept us on our on our current heading. And then we were able to uh, enable the speed control, which we we had set to GPS, so it would actually. Uh, we could pick any speed we wanted. So we picked three miles an hour and that's where we trolled. We could dial that up and down. We could speed up for corners. 
Um, speeding up and slowing down would be as easy as it's a quarter of a mile an hour every time I hit the joystick up or hit or down for down speed. So when I'm navigating um, with the autopilot on heading hold, um, I can change course in one degree increments just by twisting the end of the joystick either way. If I want to do a larger correction of 10 degrees, I can hold the joystick over. It'll make a 10 degree increment turn. I can also do those corrections with the keypad of the actual autopilot itself. So when I'm in joystick mode, uh, I have several features I can take advantage of. Basically, I can make the boat hold its position or its heading or both if I want. So with the push of a button, I can hit the stay point. It'll hold, keep my direction and my position and hold me in one spot. I can also use a drift point where it'll actually pin my direction but let me drift with the current and let the boat move. We also have a fish point which is basically the opposite of that. So you can, you can still um, fish away but it'll pin the bow in one spot. One more great feature in our EX rigging with our new 300 is we have a total tilt system. So if I just hit this button twice the engine will tilt all the way up and if I hit it down twice it'll tilt all the way down without having to sit there and hold the button. For more information on these great features plus many other features of these new outboards please check us out online. <coughs>